beautiful people. My name is Nistaku and welcome back to Corpse Party. We did everything for chapter one. All the sad little bits, all the nasty little bits, and we got all the name tags, which is cool. So now we're going to get into chapter two. Oh, it looks like we're going to play the teacher. Oh, view the chapter two opening. Yeah, we haven't seen it. What? This is our first time. Oh, the timer reset. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I want to change, I, I want to change this. I, this is, I don't want a projector, it's so bright. We will do candle today. We'll see how candle looks. I'm so, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, all right, we're back, we're back. We're so back, we're so back. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. How does it look? Why does it sound like that? <gasps> it's pretty ugly, too. We'll deal with it. Whew! That should just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of that stupid co-ed meet in two days. Wow! That's a workout outfit? Why can't the boys' class rep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> yeah! What? Where are your pants? Freaking Kishinuma. <laughs> Does he know what a delicate flower I am? Most I've ever had to lift before was chopsticks. And he expects me to lug around that danged pommel horse. Oh, oh not this again. Are you staring at my booty? <laughs> Naomi, that is one pretty sight. <laughs> huh? What is it? That booty you got! <laughs> oh! Flirting we are! What? Yours is way cuter! Mine's all plump like a duck's. Well, isn't that like the thing nowadays? <laughs> what are you saying? You've got what they call childbearing hips. It's a good thing. Oh, what? Oh, what? It means when you get older, you can pump out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. That's... Th thanks, Heiko. Oh, you like that? I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. <laughs> this makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> you do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. You guys are like 17! It's no wonder you're so good with kids. <laughs> Wow, but of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. In this economy? Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. Oh? At what? What happened? <laughs> what was the point of sinister music? Ah. Uh, yeah. With the P yellow screen, doesn't help. Yeah. Mm. yeah! <sighs> That's awful. That's awful. What an opening! Lovely opening. I don't know how I feel about this candle lighting, though. I think I might just go back to normal. I thought it would be cool. The moonlight one's cool. Oh. oh. Isn't that Naki Nakashima's voice? Hime. And she was screaming. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. Gosh, I forget how young she is. She's like 24. Oh, she's with them. Aww. You gotta pull yourself together. At least you're not scratching your crotch. Shinozaki, it's alright. Please calm down. Aww. But you heard it too. Outside, her voice. It did. Oh, so they're hearing Naomi. I think she's hyperventilating. Give her a paper bag to breathe into, but there aren't any around. Could a shirt help? I guess all I can do is try to calm her breathing before she passes out. Oh. Oh. 
I'm probably it probably wasn't a real voice, I'm sure. It just sounded like one. <laughs> Maybe it was the building settling. Oh yeah, the building settles in womenly screams. That's how it works, right? I'll go check it out, though, and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. Oh, okay, you two stay right here, okay? Is that smart? Mm. Maybe she needs a walk or something. Miss Yui, wait, don't leave us. Shinosaki. Is he gonna say anything? <laughs> it's okay, Teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinozaki. Okay. Oh, or better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance until I can verify everyone's safety. I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. All right, all right. Ayumi, you need to chill out, okay? You don't want to know what Seiko's going through. Look, she'll be fine. Jeez, play patty cake with her. I'm counting on you, Kishinuma. I'll be back in no time. No problem. Great. Seems like we're back in the same part of the school. I'm actually, I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning. I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. Oh. oh, that's uncomfy. I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. Are you pre guard Probably not. But when I think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students... Oh, I can feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. Oh, don't stand on there by yourself. G get past it. Come on, that's the loose board. I feel like if nothing else, I can at least play the part of the level-headed adult. All right. Can I? Valor. Thy name is education. What? Oh, we're playing her. Cool. Um, aren't we like 24? Um, no, I don't want to exit. I wanted to see if we can... No, that's not going to help anything. We're like 23, 24, right? How many years of teaching have you done to actually, like, be attached to these students? Well, I guess if it's even, like, your first class of students. 3A, the door is locked. Oh. That was the room we were able to go through before, so maybe there's some rooms that are unlocked now? 2A, the door seems affixed to the wall like a model can't be opened. Oh, okay. What in here? Anything changed in here? What's that? Nothing. Cardboard. Love it. Isn't there like... I feel like we're missing something. A disturbingly large amount of human hair is crammed into the cabinet, filling each shelf to overflowing? Looking closely, there are an excessive number of bugs excitedly scampering all over. Ugh. The sight alone is enough to make your skin crawl. Yeah, literally. And in the game. Okay. Oh, there's a paper here. Let's read. Heavenly Post, breaking news, serial cap kidnapping ends in murder. I feel like we've read this already. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing when the town. Authorities quickly turned to kidnap, most likely explanation. Now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Hills Elementary School building on September 18, 1973, around 7 p.m. Authorities have further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic. catatonic. Yeah, we've read this before. Okay. Each of the- yeah, 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 yeah. The page is torn at this point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. Oh. I heard something about this once before. But I never realized just how horrific an in incident really was. Yeah, it was bad. Oh! Oh. Let's not. Um, not yet, at least. Okay, so that door's open, and I guess that'll take us across. I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't trust it. I'm gonna reread all the stuff, I guess. Can I? Can I? Oh, I can't reread. Oh, that's new. 
Oh, this is new. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, too many new things. I wanna read this. Why, why have paper if can't read? Whatever. Okay, what's this? Purple ball. Hmm. It's, a, it's a key, isn't it? A label on the key reads 3A. Take it. Sure. An old key with 3A written on it. Seems fairly rusted, but it should still turn. Alright, we know where that is. What does it say? No teachers allowed on the third floor. Well, isn't this a school? Shouldn't I be allowed anywhere? Great. Is there anything down here? Like, is there even a candle? This is where Naomi and them started. Oh, the bucket's moved. Oh, there's a strange yellow fluid congealing inside the rest of the bucket. And we can't go down. And this is where they are, right? We didn't really check out this room. Oh! What's this? There's something here. Crystal shining with a faint purple glow is nestled amongst the debris on the ground. Take it. Sure! We'll just take everything. A pale violet crystal found by Miss Yui protects the its bearer from harm. Oh! Miss Yui! Oh, hey! I think that really was a scream we heard, huh? Did you find something? Yeah, some kind of gemstone laying on the ground. Ruby? Oh, yeah. Amethyst, or no? Looks like a ruby, or no? Probably an amethyst. Kishinuma, <laughs> you should be curious, no? Kishinuma, you can identify gemstones. Oh, yeah, obviously. Shinozaki is so you know, curious. No, not really. Shinozaki is the one to ask for that kind of stuff. So, yeah, this is Shinozaki's turn. Is that so? Oh, then maybe I should give it to her. Give it to Shinozaki. Keep it. We're gonna keep it. Ima. Nah, now's not the time for that. <laughs> Why did he get a horse ride? I really do think that was Nakashima's voice we heard, though. I agree. I'm going to, and I'm going to try to find her. But I need you to stay here with Shinozaki, okay? Okay. Okay, bye. Um, Why would I give this to her? I'm not playing as her. Not right now, at least. I want the protection. Trade it off later. Can I talk to her? No. Okay, so that was it. Actually, what is that paper? Paper. Hello. What is this? Heavenly House Elementary. Notice to all faculty students due to the recent kidnappings. Oh, this is what we read. Yeah, this is what we read with uh, Naomi and Seiko. And that's how we figured out where we were. Well, they don't really seem shocked by it. So what if we go up here and then we go through... The door. Is that gonna do anything? No. <laughs> okay, fine. But we got the key though. Please don't be bad. Please don't be icky. Oh, it's quiet. Oh! Oh! Yeah, sensei. de Well, if it isn't the teacher, are you all by yourself? Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the other two back in 1A, did you? Oh. I'll have you know, I heard one of my students screaming, and I have set out to find her. So, demo. I see. Regrettably. Oh. Oh, yeah. That won't be possible. This school exists in a nexus where multiple dimensions overlap. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she may occupy different dimensions. Which means you two can never meet. There's gotta be a way, though. Oh, if one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another, or... There we go. Maybe you can find some means of traversing the planes freely. As they do. <laughs> Who's they? Consider this fair warning. 
Even if you should find the exact spot from which your student's scream emanated. She herself may not be there, and if she isn't, uh, there's not a thing you can do about it. There's gotta be a way, though. This game has to have an ending. But I heard her voice. It is true that other children have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by all appearances, are indeed your students. How would you know you're a ghost? But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume here. They're fragmented. You say you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Oh, or perhaps it occurred in another space many hours previous. Oh, that's so weird. You can't even figure out like when you are. It may even have been an echo from the future. Who's to say? Oh, that's awful! This makes it more confusing! With this, oh. With this phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sync. My brain! It doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside, ghost! He's gonna kill you. Okay, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. How's this cabinet doing? The shelves are filled with just about every variety of cutting implement. What? Kitchen knives, surgical tools, chisels, etc. All appear unusually sharp. With so many metal tools in one place, this cabinet must be exceptionally heavy. <laughs> oh! Did you- Oh, you fucking- You idiot! <laughs> Step aside! Oh, why don't you freak off, you danged corporeal? I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, right in front of the cabinet that I just read that had a bunch of sharp objects? Oh, yippee! An earthquake? Oh, oh, <gasps> yep. <laughs> Sorry. This is so funny. How how convenient! Oh no! Is it hurting? In all the world, the most vile, untrustworthy individuals of them all are you school teachers. Oh, we got an angry student. Did you get an F on your spelling test? All you care about is your own well-being. You're not worried about your students, you're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. I mean, we're kind of in a hell right now. I don't think I would get fired. <laughs> this really, really hurts. You're all the same. Every last one of you. And I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. You don't even know me. Taken in? Oh, he must have got bullied or something. When you see a problem among your kids, just keep your distance. Because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. Have to keep up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem children and chip away at them little by little until they're either drop until they either drop out or get expelled. Is that what happened to you? You're not disciplining them. You're just raging at them. That's not true, bro. You're you're deflecting or reflecting or whatever the acting is. I never met a teacher who actually cared about her students. Not once. Oh, you. You're wrong. Oh. Uh-uh. 
Oh, all of your students are destined to starve to death in these godforsaken halls if they don't succumb to depression and kill themselves first. Jeez! There's no other possible outcome. They all die meaningless deaths, just like I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Oh, come on! This is awful! This is just a ghost with a moody problem. <laughs> Any last words? Which? I'll tell them to your I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. How do you have so much power in this? <laughs> Spare me? Oh? <laughs> Spare me? Huh? Come again? No. Oh. Spare my <laughs> students! <laughs> Oh, he doesn't like that because it goes against his narrative. What was that? Jeez, this is so sad already. Please, I don't care what happens to me. Just please spare their lives. They're not your children and you're not their mother. Are you really still pretending to care about them? Oh, gosh. oh, that's right. Filthy liar. Did you know? When you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. What a lovely guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a different language, but like the way how he says it sounds like he's getting turned on. And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable, and you're going to feel that pain every moment of every day, forevermore. <laughs> That's awful. Ask me to spare you. It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me. And now consider sparing your life. He's the reason why we're in this situation. You think he's gonna be like, uh, what? No, spare my students. There's... Oh, don't you harm a hair on their heads, you hear me? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so angry. You are one stubborn little witch. That's awful. Aww. <laughs> Did I already get a bad ending? Oh, stop. This is excruciating. I think my rib cage is broken. It feels like someone's pushing this cabinet down on top of me with superhuman force. I'm losing consciousness. <laughs> Gosh, man. Does it hurt? Aw, oh, poor baby. Oh my gosh, your corpse will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Every body. Live. Aww. I love you all. Do we really get a bad end, or is that how it's supposed to be? Meanwhile... What do you mean, meanwhile? <laughs> no way that's supposed to just happen. <laughs> Whoa, another earthquake? Yeah. Yep. You wanna go check on teacher? I would. Can we run over there? I think it's over. Oh, she better? What? What's wrong? Oh, she's determined. I just got a really bad feeling. We've got to go search for Miss Yui. What if she comes back while we're gone? Can we 
we miss each other along the way. <laughs> Leave a note on the chalkboard. We're going. Alright, alright already. But if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? <laughs> come on! Aren't you the one who likes this type of stuff? How about we leave her a note? Shinozaki, do you have anything I could write with? I've got a pen. But no paper, huh? Oh, there's always the teacher's desk. Teachers suck, lol, and then the Superman symbol. Miss Yui, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. How's that? <laughs> oh, what? Blunt. Being kind of sloppy. I didn't realize we were trying to write a Shakespearean note. It's your fault we have to leave her a message at all, you know. Oh my gosh. But she might be in trouble. <laughs> okay, okay. Just don't cry, we'll find her. I forget that uh, Kishinuma has been through a lot, so he's probably like very, not insensitive, but dull to like emotions. Oh, this is here now. Are we in another plane? How's the bucket? Is the bucket filled with yellow congeals? There's a strange yellow fluid congealing. Let's go. What happens if we go... <sighs> Do we go in the room? Do we go downstairs? I don't know. I kind of want to go to the room. I'll go check that, and then we'll run downstairs. But it does... It does look like a lot has changed. Aww. What is this? The... Looks like a dead end. Did this happen during the last earthquake? That sucks. Yui, where are you? I'm really worried. Okay. Fine game, fine. We will go and check this though. Don't do anything you'll regret. Think of your mother and your father. Remember their faces. You have only one life to live. Make it count. Do not waste the precious gift of existence. That's kind of nice. Why would they need a flyer for this? Yeah, seriously. He's gonna kill themselves in here. I'd rather find my way out. Alright. Wow. Throwback, I guess. Sweet. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, what's in here? In here was the paper. That's right. Well, I'm gonna check all the cabinets now. Is it still full of hair? Yep, hair and bugs. Yummy. What does the paper say? Heavenly hose. Ends at murder. Yup. 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 Corpses appear, the tongue is severed and removed. And removed something. Mutilations are too grotesque. Yeah, to describe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that doesn't open anymore. How strange. I wonder how this all, like, is supposed to, like, mean something for one person to have a door open and the other person to not. Uh, we could go up here. <gasps> it's broken because teachers are allowed. Or not allowed, but we are. I kind of want to just find a safe station, though. But let's go down. Because I feel like this is going to lead us to... Oh! What's up? I just had a brainstorm. Class rep Shinozaki's famous scary time candles. There's not a student in 2-9 who isn't it. Intimately familiar with them, right? You're kidding. There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror rep of Kisaragi for no for a reason. Yeah, so why are you so scared? So how about Oh, it's her candles. We light some candles like this all throughout the school building. 
There'll be like signal flares from Machida and the others. Let them know that you, me, and Miss Shishido are all here with them, safe and sound. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> seems more like she's just trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better... Come on, let's go. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's them. That's their candles. That's interesting. I'm gonna play a little bit more. I wanna see if I can find... Why the music change? Uh-uh. Is there something wrong here? No! Why is it so creepy? Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final ray of hope. Aww. It's like Seiko. Stop, why is it so awful? Is there something bad here? Oh! Yes, there is! Dude! These are human bones. <laughs> oh, gosh, no. You have to pull yourself together. We know we're in this awful, awful place. Oh, jeez. Are, are you okay, Shinozaki? I'll be fine. I'm just hyperventilating a little. You need to calm down. They're just dead bodies. <laughs> Come on, we have to find Miss Yui. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Satoshi, where the heck is Satoshi? <laughs> Why are we thinking about him? If he were here, I bet Shinozaki would be a whole lot calmer. Aww. What are you standing around here for? Let's get out of here. Oh, what are you? Oh, all right already. Oh, so is he like insecure about Satoshi? Judging by the size, these appear to be the same remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Hikari Kirigami. Size, remains of a junior high school student. ID, Masato. F Ooh. Kizami. D did you just hear? We have to get away from here. Two more bodies! Judging uh, ID tag Tomohiro. Uh, no, 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 we already got it, we already got it, we already got it. Last one, last one, last one. Kai, okay, we're leaving. We're leaving! <laughs> I'm gonna go save. I'm out of here. Bye! Peace! No way! This area is so creepy and large, and I have to deal with this creepy music for the entire time next time. Woohoo! Not a whole lot of walking. I feel like that's what's gonna be like for like the beginning of um each chapter, which I'm not entirely mad at, to be honest. It just gives us like that good setting spot, and then the next couple episodes we're actually running around and doing the stuff. And it seems like it's like a three, four part type deal for each chapter. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. But um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to try to keep it towards a 30 minute range. because I feel like that's better for everyone. If you want it longer or shorter, just let me know. And um, just thank you guys so much for your support. Support. Yeah, thank you guys so much for your support. And <laughs> thank you guys for all that you do. Liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. All right. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye.